Good day. We are in the backyard today. <laughs> the budgie cage is just there, so the budgie's going to annoy me, and this one here is going to annoy me too, probably. Damn you, birds. All right, we are up to day 20. I might do two today. It's getting hard at Christmas to find the time, as you would imagine. Number 20 is a breakfast milk stout by, I don't want to tell you who it is, by, or is that the name of the brewery, Breakfast? Glasses might be needed to read the fine print. Hope it's not too windy. So it's got lactose in it. The Mill, the Mill Brewery is a small, independently owned neighborhood brewery located at 40 Sackville Street, Collingwood. If you enjoyed this beer, come down to our tap room and see what else is pouring. 4.8% The Mill Brewery, proudly brewed and canned by Merrick, Eric and Jackson at The Mill Brewery. But they don't like putting their name on the can in any big writing, which is a bit odd. Yeah. Hope the sound's okay, it's not windy. Hope everything's working. Oh yeah, the sounds, I can see the sound on the screen. All right, here we go. Pretty dark. See a goldeny, reddy color at the bottom with a bit of light getting through, but there's none around the edges. It is fairly dark. It's got a really loose head. I don't know if you can tell. It sort of looks like Coca-Cola. Yeah, big bubbles, not fine bubbles. I just took a photo, but by the time I took the photo, most of the head was gone. So, oh, big. Yeah, it smells like roasted malt, funnily enough. <laughs> you know, there's hints of coffee, but there's a lot of, it's a lot of roasty, very roasty. Like, not burnt malt, but yeah, really dark dark malt smell. Dusty, dirty. Yeah, there's, there's bugger all um, carbonation. It's tasty though. It is tasty. There's a lot of roastiness there. There's some smoothness there, probably from the lactose. The roastiness is sort of you can tell the lactose is there, but the roasty flavor is way over the top of it. Which is kind of a good thing. It doesn't taste like off milk, like some of these do, when they put too many, too much lactose in some of these beers. It's like drinking old milk. I don't need to go much further than this. I don't think it's gonna change any. It could probably do with some aging, if it's canned well. That was very full, so there wouldn't be much oxygen, if any at all, in there. Because the lactose is coming out a bit more, but yeah, that's all I'm really getting is dark, dark roasted malts and a bit of lactose. I wouldn't buy it again. I can't think, of, I better not say that again. I've said it enough times, but that's all I can taste. It's just roast. Um, as I said, it could be due with a, a bit better carbonation. The head look, and bubbles look like Coca-Cola instead of, you know, it's not fine bubbles like you often get on stouts or any beer really that's carbed well. It's taste. It is tasty. It's tasty, tasty, but a little too roasty for my, my palate. It's a quick review, but I didn't want to make it sound bad because it's not a bad beer. It's very tasty. It's just, you know, not for my palate, it's a little bit too roasty. That's it. Take it easy. Cheers. We'll see you in the next one.